Hello guys, most welcome in technology welfare in this video tutorial. Especially I would like to show you how to remove your iCloud log from any Apple device. So see this is a 5S and here my phone has been linked to an Apple ID. So until unless I am not going to enter my Apple ID and password then of course I won't be able to unlock my iCloud log so in this video tutorial I will show you some clue if you implement with the help of iTunes and also I will tag yes assistance of some other software and if you implement a similar procedure surely of course you will be able to remove your iCloud yes Apple linked Apple ID and password that were used to set up this phone. So firstly here let me verify once again see guys when I insert my data cable to my laptop so after assessing it will reflect that your iPhone device is yes locked with your cloud activations. So see at the moment activation log this phone is linked to an Apple ID and enter your Apple ID and password that were used to set up this phone. So what I will do in that situations? First of all I have to keep my cell phone here in DFO mode by pressing of course by holding home button and press on off button. So yes till it's not going to reflect DFO mode so just it's set down now it's starting so yes till you have to press your yes uh, just uh, you have to hold your home button and press on off button so guys see now it's connecting now while you're doing this procedure you have to online yes your system your computer yes your laptop your PC should be connected with internet so now see guys here just I will cancel it once again I repeat how you will keep your cell phone in DFO mode just you have to hold your yes home button and press the on off button till it's not reflect like that now I have a three option I can eject then my phone will start once again if I go for update then of course ISO automatically will update but we don't have to do just I have to go yes press the shift button and you have to store yes press the just hold the shift button and you have to click here just once time so it will give you manually set up to enter your yes iOS so how do you know what iOS is in this yes iPhone so just I will here cancel and let me find out firstly what iOS is in this iPhone 5 especially in this phone it is a very important to find out a correct of course I O S so how I will find out I will take yes assistance of this Tino Sear for you key tools and what I will do here just I will open and I will go for here yes Apple yes ID just show it's a thing that you can yes you have to exit firstly 
from DFO more than so what I will do here just I will go for a screen lock password and I will go for a start so it will give you information that what iOS is present at the moment yes at the current time in your device that you would like to remove your iCloud so see iOS is 10.3.3 this is iOS that is available in your at the present time in your this model iPhone i5 so what I will do here just I will go for download but here one option has been given that firmware package has been downloaded to your computer so I have already downloaded yes and I have saved yes this yes these IPSW is officially yes 32 bit my dear yes so here see let you inform once again just you have to download from here yes it will give you accurate iOS with accurate beta so here I have downloaded already let me show you here see guys this is here I have now see this is yes iOS 12.31 and this is yes 10.3 3.3 this one's total size is approximately 2 GB I have downloaded how I have downloaded just by clicking here and this is a browser to save so I had of course saved in my D drive so I will take from there directly so after downloading from here yes just you have to come on iTunes this is a more reliable method so just I will yes open my iTunes and I will press the shift button I will come here and yes I will select my iOS so here what I will do I have to go for here now see guys this is my yes 32 bit iOS yes 10.3.3 so just I will select and I will go for open now it's asking it will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 10.33 and we will verify the restore with Apple so what I will do just I will go for a store now it's extracting and it will erase the, all the information all the data and then I will show you when you have to yes use this yes for your key tools and how you will remove your yes just Apple ID from your yes this cloud activation lock so at the moment it's extracting now it will take a time idea more than especially 10 minutes whole procedure so it's a manually my dear yes it's manually procedure that will take more than 10 minutes to remove so live actually I will show you yes how I will terminate cloud activation Apple ID and password from this device and this iTunes will reflect blank yes enter your Apple ID and password so please maintain the consistency to watch this video till the end so yes right now it's extracting so definitely I will have to wait so 
I will have to wait. Here, see in this tool, we have a two option. Yes, remove the log, a screen pass code of iOS device, and here remove the Apple ID iOS device. So how I will remove permanently yes iOS device? Just I will show you clue. Especially it will remove permanently from your iPhone device, but on time when we have to use it. So just I will show you. Now see guys, it's waiting for now. So now it's preparing iPhone 4 e store. And of course, see here, iTunes is restoring the software on this iPhone. So definitely I will have to wait. Now see, yes, still it's waiting so total procedure guys more than 20 meter sorry 20 minutes it will take so definitely you will have to make the consistency so still it's verifying iPhone restore so now see guys the serial number has gone here from here so and it's a live just see iPhone 5 is that now preparing for iPhone software for restore and it's restoring my dear now it's restoring so still it will take yes 10 minutes more see whatever iPhone I am removing the iCloud from any device permanently similar procedure I use in every shelf phone so just it's depend on you that how you execute yes how you execute yes how you implement this procedure yes while you removing your iCloud with the help of PC or laptop so here see guys now restoring these phones but one thing just you have to have of course original data cable of your iPhones and just firstly verify it yes battery of your cell phone device should be more than 70 percent and yes yeah that should be full charge simultaneously once again verify your original data while you're proceeding this procedure to remove your iCloud then this is very important to use of course your data cable original of your iPhone device so now it's restoring as tell I have to wait till the completions now it's verifying iPhone software I still verifying my dear and of course for beta iOS that should be similar so I have already shown you with the example with the help of of course through your tools also you can find out the similar beta as well as of course similar iOS of course with the help of for you key tools you can also find out now it's restoring firmware that's I was restored 10.3.3 iOS how I have downloaded with the help of this yes for you tools you can download it also with the help of three tools 
so now it's restoring yes still it's restoring still it's restoring almost I have completed yes still restoring so please maintain the consistency now it's C seeing that 9 to 10 second that's all so 3 2 1 and see guys immediately just you have to open your yes this for you key tools and then just you have to go for immediately unlock Apple ID and I will enter here and I will go for immediately start so now see it's removing the Apple ID so now see at the moment yes it's processing so scarcely it will take uh, one minute immediately just you have to yes proceed whole procedure now see guys now my phone is uh, still not uh, connected and it has uh, started to remove so see it's the uh, saying disconnect the device quit the program may damage so don't disconnect your yes apple device otherwise it will not work here now see guys remove the apple id successfully if you like yes tino share key then please share it with your friend so just i will go for done now what i will do here just i will minimize it now i will wait once again and i will see now it's giving signal here so just I will click on fine now see guys here there especially on my desktop iOS has been reflected now yes 10.3 that I have updated now data has been given also yes 630 2019 now see this is my yes serial number that I have shown you already before starting this procedure otherwise you will see that actually I have changed my device so that's why it's alive totally now see this is my 12 point yes 19 approximately GB and now see guys here yes all iTunes is functional now so what I will do now easily I can go for my yes and I can operate my cell phone so just I will here connect my iPhone to Wi-Fi and I will enter my Wi-Fi password now see guys here I have connected my Wi-Fi here yes I can now upload yes I can download my song from iTunes to yes my iPhone device how see here suppose I will come on a music and I will go for entire and here I will go for apply now see it's working that's why he is preparing to sign now waiting for apply change and uh, now see song has just started to copy in my cell phone and now finally I'm able to create a passcode of my cell phone so now yes here see guys 
it has started to copy the song now and and see after yes finishing this song copy i will show you when i will connect once again in my yes itunes then what it will reflect so just almost done my dear now finally now what i will do here just for as a demo see just i will keep once again my cell phone in df mode and what it will reflect on my desktop just i would like to show you if there is a still linked apple id then it's not removed if there is no then i will go for cancels and i will here yes exact yeah directly if i come on setting now see it's working if i come in sign and signing in authorizations yeah yes if i come itunes help yeah about itunes just uh, let me come in a sign in what is the uh, coming now see it's uh, saying you have an apple id and password into now it's not a uh, linked yes we can create according to my own id as well as and yes i will be able to use any id now see there is no any id is linked with this device just i will of course here is option that create a new apple id on what yes on especially the serial number so if you have doubt then go back and check this serial number is missed or not so just i will enter yes my apple id yeah i will create my new apple id here i have option so just when i will click so it will access to now see on a new creation apple id it's assessing now and let me see what's coming on once again desktop yes this is a totally 100% live that whatever i am doing now saying that there was a temporary problem completing request network connection timeout maybe server problem guys so yes once again let me check up that my net server is working or not yes it's working so i will go here once again in help account and sign in sign in here i will create a new so once again it's assessing let me wait once again if still server problem is coming then directly i will eject yes a still server problem is coming so what i will do here just i will eject from the fo mode and then once again i will yes after ejecting what i will do here i will come in account and once again i will go for sign in still my dear see it's coming this ones when i still my phone is in dfo mode so when i remove and when i inject once again when i connect my yes data cable now 
see it's connecting once again I will go for a stop now see guys similar it's a serial number and this ones so I will yes press the yes just you have to hold yes home button and press the on off and just you have to exit from DFO mode now it's starting now so just you have to exit from your DFO mode and here once again I will come in sign in and here there is no any Apple ID and password is linked so just yes I have an option once again so yes let me on the my cell phone now assessing at the moment now fine now still it's assessing yes now see still assessing if I go once again in a sign in what will happen see still there is no link now see guys it's opening if there is a cloud activation linked with this device then it will not open now see see it's coming library yes a store all kind of the function is coming now so yes finally now see when now see guys now it's working yes directly I can go for it and everything of course <coughs> now maybe server problem that's why I'm still having the problem here it's not reflecting now I still having problem now I still it's not a coming now I still now see guys still just you have to set up everything of your cell phone especially iPhones after restoring so I will go for don't share and now it's started finally now when I connect my cell phone once again now see what will happen now see it's reflecting here now sensing and now finally my phone cam here and backing up so when I will click here now see whole detail and there is no any cloud activation log so this is a way of course this is a hard of course a procedure and you will have to yes implement very carefully this procedure and there is a vital role of iTunes as well as of course these applications that is a for you key tools it's a free available on the website so I will give you both website link yes how you will download updated iTunes as well as this for you tools and how you will remove your iCloud yes for permanently from any Apple device similar procedure you have to execute now see uh, still it's now now it has uh, started to copy the song all thing now finishing see if I go for check for update now now see it's uh, saying that yes this one current version 
so finally it's working guys and this is a way that how you will yes unlock your iCloud for permanently with the help of iTunes so this is all about in this video tutorial and if in this video has been assisted to you benefited to you in any way to remove yeah, to terminate yeah, to completely removal of iCloud ID as well as the password that has been linked with your cell phone then please don't forget like and subscribe and please leave the comment below the comment box if you have any inquiry furthermore so thank you guys have a great time